Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, Ark Survival Evolved. Today, there are a few things we have to do. As you can see, I have a level saved up right now. So we'll address that in a minute here. And crops are so buggy for whatever reason. Uh, 51, 63, 51, 60, 60, 49. You're full. This one. So, off camera, I have done a few things. I have started working on the structure up above. Uh, I realized that a 5x5 is not possible with the space that we have. Uh, so I have a 3x3 three three area here, I have this 2x2 two two area here. I looked up the dimensions of the stairs just so I would know, you know, how big I would want this if I want to go further out this way or this way. And it looks like it occupies a 2x1 section, so I'm hoping that means it'll fit here. We'll find out, I suppose. I can always make changes if need be. I got the engram for large storage and made one because, oh my god, was I filling up on stuff. Uh, I am currently level 24, ready to hit level 25, so I'm going to put a level in stamina here. And we're, we're going to go down and pick our engrams for level 25. So I don't think there's any... Any structural thing that I want left. So I'm probably going to avoid that. So let's look at the level 25 engrams. And I believe they start here. Might start here. Will it tell me if I put in the numbers? Nope. Okay. Uh, so, let's see what options we have. We have the options to upgrade our tools, and honestly, I think I want to do that ASAP. So we'll be doing that. Uh, the ability to make scissors for cutting hair and other materials. Sounds useful, but I don't know that it's priority useful. The crossbow sounds neat, but the bow's doing us pretty well right now. Uh, lights target on fire and also and can also light oil slicks. That's kind of cool. Oh, the medium crops. Hmm. Yep, I think that's what we go for right now. And in that case, I think there's an earlier engram I want to grab as well. The compost bin. Converts thatch into high uh, thatch and dung into high quality fertilizer. So there are all our engram points. Um, so things I have a lot of now: stone, fiber, pearls, and oil. And I'll explain the pearls here in a moment. So, or actually, right now, why not? Uh, so. Earlier, I was getting sand mostly, you know, by hitting these rocks with a hatchet and hoping for sand. I realized there is a far cheaper resource-intensive way to get to, to get these. It also generates just about as much stone, uh, probably a little less actually, and simply, it's going up to all of these, picking them up. So that has saved me a whole lot of time, a whole lot of grief, and a whole lot of other stuff. <laughs> so, uh, next thing I wanted to go over is another engram I picked up off camera, uh, because I felt like I needed it sooner, sooner rather than later, but then I was like, well, I don't really want to craft this one off camera, so I kind of put off on it. Because we had so much stone, I decided to go a little crazy on the spark powder. So, uh, yeah, we have a lot of it. So, I decided to pick up something that would make use of it, and I decided to get the preserving bin. So, what we'll do right now is, first and foremost, get this guy fertilized, I guess. 
51. You would technically be on this list. You're full, so I guess not. Who's the lowest who's not full? I guess that's you. You're the only one who's not full. Oh. Hi. Where did you come from? Really? No, no, no. I need to be on land to do this. Quick, before his torpor goes down. Okay. Ugh. Ooh, inventory. Nothing. Well, that's a letdown. Uh, I also tamed a raptor off camera. Uh, decided to take it out hunting. The raptor died. Uh, so that kind of sucked. Uh, that really sucked, actually. Uh, so that didn't last very long. I was going to spend some Ingram points on a raptor saddle. Glad I didn't. Uh, so yeah. That was fun. I also felt bad because I did it off camera, so it's like, well, okay. Now that doesn't matter. <laughs> Don't have to feel guilty about it anymore. Didn't last very long. Uh, so... I've also been keeping up on these guys' levels. Ally here, I'm trying to get you to 500 health. I'm kind of out of room for this stuff, but we'll be making the com oh, well. We'll be making the compost bin soon is what I was going to say. But first, let's make the preserving bin, which keeps food fresh. I also had our first egg laid by our parasaur. I ate it. Uh, those things last surprisingly long, apparently, which is awesome. Last like several days. I may be exaggerating. Might have might have been like two days or something. Uh, but two game two days of game time, so like a long time. Like two real world days in the game. <laughs> what I meant. Uh, I recognize that this game is mostly supposed to run off the servers, so a lot of the leeway is given to uh, the preserving bin. Yeah, burn spark pa spark powder at low temperatures to dehydrate food and kill bacteria. Keeps perishables from spoiling for a small time. I don't know exactly what that does. I assume it's like just stuff keeps longer. I should probably put in some more walls first. I wouldn't want the preserving thing to block the door. I'm gonna pick that up. We will be making the bin uh, because we have room for it. So uh, let's make more walls, shall we? Uh, so clay is really what I'm missing right now. Let's just go. Much better. Ooh. I've also fought a few mobs or monsters, dinosaurs. I guess mobs is still an appropriate term. Uh, so I've gotten the girls plenty of meat. They should be good for a while. I think I will place you here. I have 24 slots, that's cool. So let's grab like a thing of spark powder. Whole stack of 100. See what this does.
Come on. Oops. Okay, so it consumes it automatically. That's cool. Gives off this little like heat effect. That's cool. Uh, all right. Now, now I guess. So I'm assuming it's like putting meat or whatever in a dinosaur's inventory, right? The spoil time just goes up. Uh, I will take that with a compost bin, which we'll probably make next. So let's take this 12 cooked meat and experiment here. So f on us, this meat lasts two minutes. Okay, on us, this meat lasts a minute and a half. Dinosaur, it lasts five and a half minutes. Let's see how long it lasts uh, to drink water. Ooh, 12 minutes. Okay, that's awesome. All right, I'm going to give this to Alexa, though. Uh, did we have Alexa in the last episode, or were we taming her in the last episode? I think we were just in the middle of taming her. Um, yeah, I tamed that, that Caprosuchus as well, so now we have two guard dogs. I also put a hundred spark powder in here because I had the room for it, but I also picked up this uh, uh, medical brew, Rockwell recipe medical brew uh, from killing some caprosuchuses. That was cool. And that's about that. I think that's it for the catch up. So. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try to make that compost bin, shall we? So, for that, I'm going to need 50 wood. 50 wood, okay. 50 is quite a lot. Quite a lot more than I was expecting. How's the activity in this pond over here? Has it repopulated? Hmm... Not that I can see. It's also getting dark. I timed this episode poorly, apparently. That's okay. We can do some stuff. Really should have filled my water thing. Water skin. That's the word. Fifty wood is about two trees. It's easy peasy. Two plenty. Lovely. Alright, so that's gonna make us a compost bin. Alright. Just gonna get a bit more thatch. Let's see. Okay, we got we have two full stacks, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, I did read up on it on the on the wiki just a little bit. I know that it takes uh, three three things of any of any size uh, to make one fertilizer, and then some thatch. I can't remember exactly how much thatch, but I'll have a full stack, so I assume that'll take up one slot. That's how it works. Uh, and I looked that up because I did want to make sure if uh, different sizes made a difference. If size mattered. Uh, it turns out no. Not when it comes to species. I have so much spark powder I'm not worried about letting, letting the fire die. 
Uh, let's see. How much do you have? You have 29 and 25. You have 27, 30, and 11. Oof. Definitely yours, buddy. All right, so now we have our compost bin. So let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Can I put you down like somewhere around here, please? Maybe yes, no, maybe so. Come on. Seriously? Oh, here works. Here is fine. Fantastic. Okay, so it has eight slots, so I could do do hold on. If size doesn't matter, then let's go ahead and take out the small ones. And replace them with mediums. That makes sense. I think that makes sense, right? Because, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, so now I can go... Human, small, small. That should make one. Is that not how that works? It might. Does it take time? I mean, it doesn't rid the real world, so. I suppose it's not a stretch to assume it does here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh, one more and I fill it. Maybe it has to be filled before it does something? I don't know. I'm grasping at straws here. Yeah. So basically, we're in a pretty good spot. So I need... Oh, where are the metal tools? Where are the metal tools? I did grab them, right? It, oh, it can only be crafted a smithy. Oh, oh, wow, I really messed that one up, didn't I? Okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Lesson learned. All right, uh, we're almost at time for the episode, so I could. Uh, I could probably make do with the amount of time we have left and actually accomplish something right now. Uh, you don't need a level. You, I already re leveled recently. You, not quite yet. Is there anything else? I suppose I could collect more sand. I'm definitely going to need a lot more of that. But yeah, this is proven to be way more efficient than uh, than breaking rocks for it. I do get quite a bit of stone, but that's fine. We'll find a use for it eventually. I think a lot of like the big defensible fences cost stone. And I have actually looked up tutorials on dragon catching in single player. Um, because apparently it's not really something you're supposed to do in in single player. It's it's really something that's built for multiplayer, which is fine. But there's always exploits. Non cheaty exploits are always are always available. Sure enough, I found one. Uh, the person did build it mostly out of stone, so... Realizing how just, just how disposable a resource it really is, I'm glad to know that stone suffices. Okay, nice. I got the last one. Still nothing. I don't know. We'll see. It's full now. 
Maybe it'll do something. Now that it's built and that we've got it up and running, question mark? I may just look up the full details. Uh, I do kind of need food. Maybe I should keep some of that meat for myself. Did you just... No, but I was close. Thing here got like a ton of the bear. Yeah, you do. And you're ready for another thing. I'm also going to move the smaller stuff up to the front so it consumes earlier. I'm also slowly losing health to cold, so let's go inside. And we can burn the spark powder to stay warm. Uh, let's put the sand away. As you can see, like it is, it is way better than than relying on the stones. And that way, I can save the stones for flint for for uh, spark powder, uh, especially with all the stone that I've stored up. Continue to collect from off the floor. So it's definitely helpful. Uh, however, we are pretty much at time for today, so I'm going to have to call this one here. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff. As always, I'm going to wait out the night before continuing with the next recording. And uh, I might continue doing some off-camera work, just collecting sand and stuff. Uh, I don't have access to the metal tools yet because I didn't read the, the fine print. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I might do that just to get us some progress toward the next level so we can get that smithy so we can upgrade our stuff. But uh, I will see you guys then. Bye for now.